When I was at uni, I lived with David Murphy. This man taught me the finer points of tactics and the importance of coaching programmes. He always said he thought he could manage a real football team because of what football manager had taught him. I play football manager because it's brilliant. It's just brilliant. What's brilliant about it? It's just so addictive. It's like, it's just striving for, for, for perfection. It just doesn't exist. Is it, do you think it's like an opportunity to live out? A dream, a fantasy, yeah, definitely. Because yeah. everybody wants to be a football manager. Football manager speaks for itself. Yeah, I just, you just, and I know you're striving for perfection that isn't there because I've played in it loads and I've never sort of achieved what, what I want to. But yeah, it's just, you're always just trying to like better yourself on it. But then obviously, you're never going to get to a point where that's going to stop. You're always going to be better in yourself. When I first started playing it, I had no idea what I was doing. Absolutely no idea whatsoever. My mate, uh, there was a great mate I know that like, lived down the street and he's like a few years older than me. And uh, he, I think he introduced us to it and I was just playing it with him. And so then I bought it obviously, because he was like, I was just sitting watching him and he was he was quite good at it. I can't really remember what, like who he was and stuff. It was years ago when the words used to come up. And it, he used to do this thing where he used, if the other team scored a goal, he used to press space bar twice when the game was on. It used to change the speed of how fast the game was going. And he had this little weird OCD where he'd press space bar twice when they scored because he thought it would disallow it. And he was going on about it for ages, right? Saying that it disallowed a goal. And I was like, it's not working, it's not working. And he pressed it like twice and it disallowed the goal. <laughs> and it, so like it must have just happened once. And like he just thought that like, it must happen every time. So he just kept pressing space bar all the time. Never worked. Yeah, that was and I just remember that. And I just remember sitting in his room for ages, just and uh, yeah, that was it. Once you start, you can't stop. I wouldn't say I'm obsessed. I don't really think I'm addicted. I just play on it a lot. I don't. I just. I don't think it's an addiction. Well, it is an addiction, really, because I don't like going very long without it. I once played on it for um, like I just literally played on it from like seven o'clock in the morning to like two o'clock in the morning the next day. I did a full season nearly in about two days. Do you know where it tells you the information bit where um, how long you've been playing on it for? I once had about 14 days on there. Like, the, the, one, the, the worst thing that ever happened was, um, I was, uh, I can't remember who I was, but basically I didn't make the database big enough. Do you know how you can change the size of the database? And uh, I made it like medium and I was on it for like eight seasons and it just crashed at the end because like there wasn't enough room to save it. I, that, that was horrible. That was pretty much the lowest point here yeah, when that happened. When uh, the game crashed, I think it was my Valencia game because that was that was the best one. Valencia, I won the treble. It's the only time I've ever done it, and I've never done it again. And as well, like we were saying before, it was with a team that wasn't like Barcelona or Real Madrid. Valencia are like just sort of mid-table kind of, maybe Europe kind of team, and I won the treble. And I sold Villa before he even kicked the ball as well. I didn't, didn't I? Didn't even play him. I just sold him. I think he went to like Italy or somewhere because I would never have sold him in the same league. And I sold them for like 30 million and I bought, I bought uh, Closer and I think he scored like 30 odd goals in 40 games or something ridiculous like that. It was mint, yeah. That was probably the best the best one I had. I wouldn't know half the players I know without Football Manager. Like that El Giro Elia that played for uh, Netherlands the other day. Never heard of him until Football Manager. I heard of him on Football Manager and then he just appeared in the Holland team. I was like, I've got him on Football Manager. Never even heard of him before. That is the most rewarding thing in the world of Football Manager. If you find a player on Football Manager before you've even heard of him and then he just appears in real life and he's like amazing, that is. Because you feel like you found him and the <laughs> club that he plays for just didn't know how good he was before you found him. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's, that's the way it goes. When I first started playing it, I used to be like uh, the obvious teams like Man U and... I was obviously Newcastle all the time because I support Newcastle. Everyone's the team I support at some point, always are. And uh, I got a bit bored. So, like, my mate, a different mate who plays in it, I have a lot of mates up <laughs> My mate uh, was Crew. I can't remember what league he is when he started with them, but he was Crew. And uh, he won the Champions League with Crew. It took him ages, obviously. And uh, so I thought, right, I'm going to be someone. So, the first team I was lower down was Leeds, can you remember when they had the 15 point deduction? I was them then and I won the league in the first season with the 15 point deduction. And uh, I think I got them into the Premiership just, and then I got bored. So after that, I was just teams like really low down. And ever since then I've been like just random teams. 
I don't really like being teams with big names anymore because I find it really it's a bit it's too easy and like it's not really that fun like I, I like being teams like where you have no idea who they are and I love getting free transfers it's so much better getting like going into the free transfer list and getting someone who's like 34 yeah so I like being like lower down teams like I was at Oxford once and um, I was not County because they had loads of money so that was fun I bought like all these just tra- premiership dropouts for like League 2 and just like Stormers <laughs> I think I got three promotions in a row it's more rewarding, that's the way. It's more like rewarding to take a team that isn't exactly sort of established and make them established. I think it's more of a challenge. If you just do it with Man U, like, you're not really a very good manager, are you? I could win the league with Man U in real life. Is that something you do when you think you could actually manage a real football team? Yeah. Of course you could. I could manage a real football team because a football manager. What do you think it's taught you? Man to man management. <laughs> Half time teams, folks. Where's the passion, lads? That's what I'd say. <laughs> I don't think I don't know. I don't think it's really taught you anything, has it really? But I, I'm I'm yeah, I reckon I could manage a football team. I might do my badges and coach some like under twelves or something and just work, <laughs> work my way up. <laughs> I'll be the manager in ten years. You watch. Watch this space. <laughs> <laughs> Is that uh, something you'd genuinely do in the midfield? Would you want to apply for some jobs? <laughs> yeah, I'd love to. Yeah, I'd apply for a job. Right. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. What, like apply for a job? Yeah. All right. <laughs> How am I going to do that? I don't know, we'll write a CV or something. Steve, man. Write a CV? There's, a, there's plenty of clubs I think I'll manage it. It's the summer, isn't it? I'll go for the Liverpool job. Yeah, yeah I've got no... Kenny has got nothing on me. Uh, so, yeah, let's look at some clubs. Um, who do you know? Liverpool, I've got a manager. Liverpool. Um, um, Paul. Yeah, because Ian Dabby's not been confirmed yet, has he? No. Um, not County, because Cottrell's just gone to Portsmouth. Yeah. Um, but I don't know any more off the top of my head, so we should probably... No, me neither. Have a look. Um, no, no. I keep scrolling down on here. Um, we might find some some news, but what's out there? Kill oh yeah, Kilmarnock. Yeah, Bohemians boss link with it, so yeah, that's, that's yesterday's news as well. So yeah. it's recent. Quick, get in okay. there! Someone's been linked with him. Get in there, <laughs> Kilmarnock. Alright, we'll have that in. Okay, Kilmarnock is down. Um. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Argyle expect boss pretty soon. Depart and talk to you. Says he would like a chance to take up the vacant managerial post. They haven't got one. Vacant, 4th of, 4th of 4th June. Of June. So There's nothing past. after that to say that there is one. Plymouth. Confusion Stop. surrounds Abla exit. Stop. 18th point. of June. That was yesterday. That'll do. That's their, yeah, that's their manager. That's League 2. Yes, League Two, yeah. <laughs> See, on Football Manager, you've got the little job information, information. bit, yeah. Why so don't I have that in makes real life, life? A lot easier. Yeah. Uh, oh, hold on. Black sacked as Airdrie manager. Good. But yeah. Not good for him. No. <laughs> but for us, quids in. Quids in. Yeah, Airdrie, because I know loads about the Scottish. After we the Scottish Second Division, yes. <laughs> The big guns. Yes. Who was that? Airdrie. Airdrie, yeah. Um, Scottish League. I mean, you might even have a chance there, to be honest. So how many has that we got? Uh, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. That's good enough to start. I think that's pretty good, yeah. And that's Scottish Division 3. How many languages do you know? GCSE. Do we class Geordie as a language, or...? A Blythe looking for a manager? <laughs> no. Do Blythe even have a football team? Yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Berwick, they're near me, aren't they? Sort of. Yeah, I think I've got a manager. Yeah. Damn! Yeah, I think we'll just keep it like that. I don't know any languages. Right. Although I could go to the Dutch League, because they all speak English, because Steve McLaren went there. Yeah, and do a little funny accent. Yeah. Hi, guys. <laughs> just, just do the goal trap a bit all the time. Yeah, do that. 
don't really know anything about the Dutch league though. I know Luis Suarez is pretty good. I know Been that all the time. with having a Waterloo Bill, I've managed to sign six players from one club called CSV, um, while all on freeze, and they love it over right. in the Blue Square South. <laughs> um, Let's do 